This is why you buy a Nexus device. This is why you choose the Nexus 5 over any other phone out there. I'm actually taking the Sprint SIM card out of my Note 3 and finally putting it in my Nexus 5. The 4.4.3 update came out today. You get a brand new bootloader, well, not bootloader, but a brand new radio, like a baseband, so um, I wonder if it'll pick up Sprint Spark LTE a little bit better. Uh, that would be pretty cool if it did. Uh, but yeah, 4.4.3 came out today. And I had 4.4.2. I checked for an update, and it didn't say an update was available. So all you've got to do is go to uh, Google Nexus Images and download the image manually. I did a video on how to flash a, a Nexus image onto a Nexus device and then how to root it immediately after you flash it. And I just did that. My phone is on 4.4.3. So completely stock. I know it's really white and you can't really see it. Let me turn the brightness down. Yeah, there you go. It's completely stock right now. So let me go to the settings here. About phone. 4.4.3. So rooting it is super simple. You can use Chainfire's CF Auto Root and you'll have stock recovery. Or you can install custom recovery and then flash Super SU via custom recovery. Now, if you go to check for an update and it says an update is available, by all means, accept it. If you have custom recovery, more than likely it will fail. Uh, so, what I recommend doing is is finding a stock recovery image and flashing it. It may or may not be successful. Uh, also, if you're going to be flashing the Nexus image, it's going to completely wipe your phone's internal storage once you do that. Uh, there's that pluggable thing I did a video on that I, uh, I did it yesterday but I made it public this morning because it was fully processed. Uh, you could back up all of your apps onto the external storage or you can back them up on your phone's internal storage and move them over to the external storage. Or you can use the Minova micro SD card reader, or you can use the Leaf Bridge. Or you can get a little cheap $2 uh, micro USB OTG cable, hook a flash drive up to it, and tr uh, make sure that your backups are going on the flash drive. Oh, again, or your internal storage and moving them over to uh, the external storage with a an app like ES File Explorer, for example. Or, you can back up your apps and then do the long way of waiting for them to sync to Dropbox, Google Drive, or Box.net with titanium backups, cloud syncing, storage stuff. So, yeah, it's just a public service announcement. The Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi, I'm going to flash that on my Nexus 7 and my daughter's Nexus 7. Uh, I, I, you've got to back up your apps. You've got to flash the image, which wipes the internal storage, reroute, and then restore everything with that SD card reader or... Uh, flash drive or downloading it from the cloud back onto your device so I'm gonna put it on all my devices and I'm pretty excited I'm gonna put I'm in Kansas City and I haven't experienced Sprint Spark yet I've, in fact I've got nothing but bad uh, I, I, no if you follow me on Twitter you know how much I hate Sprint I just I'm on a contract I already have T-Mobile on my HTC One M8 which I'm using the front-facing camera on it right now to record this video so uh, I have that on T-Mobile, and I don't want to put my T-Mobile SIM card in here. First of all, the HTC One M8 uses a Nano SIM. This uses a Micro. So I'm just going to take the Micro SIM out of my Note 3, put it in my Nexus 5, and I'm going to rock Android 4.4.3. So if uh, I know Patrick, I think Patrick, several people have asked me whether they should get the Nexus 5 or the S5, the Note 3, or any other phone. And I, I have a hard time telling them not to get the Nexus 5. Even over the HTC One M8, the Nexus 5 has a lot of benefits. The Nexus 5 works on CDMA and GSM. It works on, uh, it picks up Sprint Spark. It picks up 21 different LTE bands. You're going to get, like today, you're going to get Android 4.4.3. You're going to get Android 4.5 the day it comes out. You're going to get Android 5.0 the day it comes out. And you'll never have to worry about root because... Rooting is super simple. CF Auto Root, the easiest method, or flash and recovery. Again, instructions on how to flash the stock image to get drivers fully working on your computer to 
uh, root after you install the update. All that's in my video, which will be linked in the description. Also in the description, I will link to um, uh, the, the images. So like Nexus 5, Nexus 7, and etc. So that's all I'm going to say. It's this, this is basically a public service announcement and letting you know that you can flash 4.4.3 on your phone and then restore all your stuff after you do it. So let me show you this one more time. <laughs> That's exciting. So definitely back up your phone uh, to an external storage because it's going to wipe your internal storage when you flash the image. Reroute it after the image is flashed. Restore your stuff and be on Android 4.3. Or if it, if it says there's an update available, good for you. You may not have to flash the image, but I flash the image. This is what would Josh do, and I know my legs are super white. Don't judge. Don't judge. I'm out.